Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm back home. As you know, I'm back. And uh, I did find a bunch of dolls on my vacation. I showed them to you a few videos back. I had uh, a very successful doll hunt at the flea market and I washed and restored the dolls and we have uh, uh, Dana here who is having a bad hair day but um, I just uh, haven't had the time to really style her hair but uh, she's clean, she's washed and I just wanted to uh, you know, before I put them in storage, because I usually show you the dolls restored or show them dirty and then restored, but I was on vacation and I didn't have uh, time to wash those then. So I just wanted to show you how satisfyingly they, you know, restored and uh, so on. And I'm going to, you know, we have her already. I'm going to show you then this girl who I decided I'm going to leave the way she is well she washed out very nicely the hair you know restored pretty nicely uh, the outfit is very nice I found issues that I think really go with the outfit my original plan for her was to put her on a made to move body because I've been wanting to find a doll with this specific face mold because I just love the face mold. I find it very beautiful, very just soft. I think it is the Steffi face mold, but I might be wrong, you know, correct me if I got my mold names uh, wrong, but I've been eyeing this specific face mold for a while now and I've been wanting to find a doll with it, but you know, to put on a made to move body and to have her be an Instagram model for me, but I'm not gonna do this for now with this doll because I'm not crazy about the fringe. It it is okay on the doll, but uh, I want my made to move dolls to look a bit more modern. Where with this fringe, she's not giving me that vibe. Also, the makeup is pretty outdated. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty and it's very representative for the era. You know, when the doll came out, it's just not my, it's not what I want, you know, with my Instagram models. Also, I don't like this uh, hair for, um, you know, for model dolls, for action dolls, because it is very fluffy and uh, flyaway and, you know, if I put her in a bag and carry her around, it's, when I get her out, it's gonna be messy, but... I'm looking at her on my screen and she's beautiful. I don't know. Maybe if I get more confident with rerouting, maybe I will reroute her and put her on a made to move body. I don't know. For now, she's gonna be the way she is. I think she restored pretty nicely, but again, she wasn't, you know, very damaged or too dirty she was you know decently dirty but not not nothing so terrifying I've seen worse uh, then we have Goldilocks who uh, hasn't changed too much other than she now has a hand and uh, she was missing that before but uh, I was sure that I have a hand for her and I was right but I had I have this hand <laughs> and I don't have this hand so I gave her a darker hand what is what I'm trying to say and I put the ring and the bracelet to kind of hide it and also she had very um, gluey hair but that's resolved I, I feel like in a year or two I'm gonna need to wash the hair again because uh, I can feel that there is still a lot of glue in her head and it's gonna leak out over time but you know after several washes over time she will no longer leak glue and other than that she is very nice you know she's missing very little stuff uh, then we have this 
beauty who my first you know idea for her was maybe I would you know I wanted to resell her because I don't know she's a blonde Barbie but she also has my favorite face this uh, is one of you know my favorite Barbie faces ever she she has the face that the Barbies during my childhood uh, have had and uh, you know when I washed her and her hair restored so nicely she doesn't she had this a little bit crazy look about her let me just bring her closer you know she, she has I don't know the pupils there is something a little bit crazy <laughs> about her look uh, I, I also thought that her hair was a little bit cut, but I don't think so anymore. I think she's stunning and yeah, with the hair down and, you know, clean and nice and smooth, she looks very nice. So I decided that I'm going to keep her. I don't have too many Barbies with that face. Maybe I have two or three, two for sure, you know, the Rapunzel from 90... 97 was it i think she she was my childhood uh, grail doll she has this face this exact face just you know with a little bit different uh, makeup more fantasy makeup because yeah she's rapunzel barbie is rapunzel and i have that doll twice once on a made to move body once in her you know complete state just missing the shoes and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a third one now. This one is just a little bit different from the other two. She is adorable. I love her and uh, this dress and I found her hot pink shoes that really fit the dress. She's very nice. Then we have this Barbie. This is the Ferrari Barbie who washed out very nicely, washed out, you know, cleaned up very nicely. I think these are her original jeans or at least some jeans that really look like her original ones. I put her in this shirt. I found her some shoes, you know, not to be barefoot. And maybe later on I can customize her because I really her face, you know, the face in combination with the white hair, she's giving me fantasy vibes and I'm not gonna touch the hair or the face. Maybe like a fantasy dress team or something but yeah I want to do something more with her but for now you know she's clean she's nice she's gonna go in storage and when I have inspiration maybe you'll see her again on the channel overall very pretty though and restored very nicely then we have this non Barbie doll who I identified in my previous video, you're gonna have to go back to see that. I put her in this outfit, this outfit I bought with these dolls. By the way, they are all wearing stuff that I bought then. And uh, that's awesome, like I love finding awesome dolls, but I also find love finding, you know, good quality clothing with them. And this is genu genuine Barbie outfit. The pants, I don't know, they don't have the little, tag on the inside but the shirt has it if you know any of these fashion pieces well I know this one I don't know this one and I don't know the shirt and I'm not 100% sure about the pants and then I don't know these two if you know from what Barbies they are you can please uh, tell me down in, in the comments but yeah she washed out she washed very nicely uh, her hair the ends were curled originally and they're a bit frizzy but I kind of dealt with the frizz the top of her hair is stored very nicely and she's very cute with that hairstyle I really like her a lot she's very cute though then we have this saloon hair play Barbie who is wearing, turns out I have the complete uh, Dr. Barbie from the Sweetheart family uh, playset, the complete outfit and it came with these dolls which is super awesome and uh, I decided that this hair play Barbie is going to be my Dr. Barbie and I put her on a made to move body because she might, you know, she might be 
a character at some point. You know, she's not gonna go outside for pictures, but she can play a role sometimes. And I really like, you know, this outfit displayed on her. It goes very nicely with her hair. I did make make a little hairstyle and added these things in her hair, which, by the way, are earrings. I just bent them and curled them in, in the hair. And they're holding there pretty nicely. So, yeah. I did <laughs> end up, you know, adding another made to move uh, Barbie to my collection because she's very beautiful. I really like her brows. Yeah, she's very nice though. There she is. Then we have my Ken here, who I decided is gonna be named Dennis. He's just showing the jacket that I found in the flea market and these jeans were on Sweet Talking Can and uh, the BM, um, the made to move cans are going to be taking those <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> they look very nicely and the shirt is something that I've made he, he was wearing it already so I just wanted to show off these uh, fashion pieces I did there were a few more uh, clothing pieces that are in pretty nice shape that I got but uh, these are the ones that you know are on those then we have this cutie who I still don't know exactly which Shelly or Kelly she is but yeah she hasn't changed too much from that video when I showed her the first time but she's now nice and clean you can sit there with Dr. Barbie and the last thing is Sweet Talking Ken himself. He received this uh, outfit from the Ken BMR and he came with uh, this shirt on. And he actually works, which I was thinking of maybe selling him, you know, when I got him. But now that I, you know, um, cleaned him and uh, he works, I'm not gonna do that at all. And... Uh, if you know or if you remember from my previous video, he has a little heart button on his chest. And when you press it and talk, it records. I just pressed it. And there are three buttons on the back here, which are hidden by the, sh hidden by the shirt. If you want to see them, you can just check my video where I showed these dolls. He was... Uh, I did show the buttons and... Each button replace whatever you recorded in a different pitch. Pitch. There is high pitch, your normal pitch, and low pitch. Heart button on his chest. Heart button on his chest. Heart button on his chest. And I find it very, very awesome. For instance, don't forget to subscribe. You have to really talk uh, loudly and separate the words because there is a lot of static and yeah. And here is... Also leave a like. Also leave a like. Also leave a like. Also leave a like. Ha 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 ha. I love playing with him. He's awesome. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> he doesn't have to tell you twice. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is my little update video on these dolls. I was very lucky to have found them. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how they washed up. There are a few missing. They're in the stock bin, let's call them. But these ones are the, one that, the ones that washed very nicely. Well, there is also 
one that isn't dry yet but anyways these ones are done for now and uh, they're going to go in you know in storage basically which my collection at the moment is uh, in storage well except for the monster high dolls and the made to move dolls everything else is in storage so most of these guys are gonna go in storage except for her and him so i'm going to tell you but Bye.